The EVGA 9800 GTX just landed. It, it should have went like boom or something. It should, it should come with sound effects. EVGA guys, when you send these things and they land in our mailbox, they include like a sound effect so it's like boom. Yeah. No, not headshot. That's the pure owners guys that spell it with a P. That's what I say about you guys. You guys got a juvenile tongue stick out. All right, then back to the, the, the story at hand. 9800 GTX is here. Uh, the price is amazing. The specs are very similar to the uh, 8800 GTX, except the fact that this thing has a smaller manufacturing process to keep things uh, cooler and also allows it to go a little faster. Another thing that's nice about this is PCI Express 2.0. It's about 10% faster than the uh, 8800 Ultra even. So uh, that's nice. And uh, it even gets close to the 9800 GX2, which, which uh, it's a much more expensive card. And you're gonna like this, Tri-SLI. That's right, this is the uh, third card on the market that features Tri-SLI. The other two are the 8800 GTX and Ultra. This is my pick for Tri-SLI. If you want three graphics cards, then you want this card. That's it. That, that just put a period on it. That's the end of the sentence. No more talking. Why am I still talking? 512 megabytes of uh, GDDR3 that runs at 2200. That's the double data rate. That's fast, it's fast memory. GDDR3, I didn't know it could get that fast without exploding. They've come up with a new technology. This just in from my, yeah, non-exploding technology. This just in, I made it up. Uh, 1600 megahertz, uh, 1688 megahertz shader clock. Uh, it's also a 256 bit card and the uh, core clock is at 675. Now that produces just over 70 uh, gigabytes per second as far as the bandwidth is concerned. Uh, for reference, the uh, GX2, the big guy, that produces about 127 uh, gigabytes per second. However, in most games, the performance is very similar, a la these benchmarks. All right, now the, um, let's talk about Half-Life 2 Episode 2 at 1920 by 1200. Uh, now this has been, these are not benchmarks from this EVGA I'm holding in my hand. I must preface by saying that this is a benchmark uh, from the spec NVIDIA. It's basically the same thing, those same benchmarks all the way around. Now with everything turned all the way up at 1920 by 1200, Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Uh, the GTX is at 193 frames a second and the GX2 is at 197 frames a second. So awesome performance in this price range. Ono Tournament 3, 1920 by 1200. The GTX 126 frames a second, GX2 130 frames a second. Again, that's, uh, that's awesome. That's really awesome. All right, Crisis, 1920 by 1200. Uh, on medium settings, this card is at 46 frames a second. The GX2 is on, at 50. Now, if you turn it all the way up to high, it still gets 40 frames a second at 1920 by 1200 in Crisis. So that's hot. It's really hot. Concludes the benchmark portion of the video. As you can see, it's extremely fast. Three of these cards is faster than two of the GX2 cards. So that's cool as well. If you want to build a Trias Li system, then this is the uh, card that you need to be looking at. Also, it's got a lot of cool things in the box. We have uh, two DVI ports, 2560 by 1600 out of both of these DVI ports. There's also a breakaway cable spot right there that's an S-Video cable. They've included the S-Video cable in the box. Yay for S-Video. They've also included uh, this in the box. Let me pull this out. All right, this is a uh, breakaway cable that gives you, um, that's a component, right? It better be component, because I said it. Two of these in the box, uh, VGA to DVI, or actually the other way around, DVI to VGA, so you can uh, plug it up and use VGA in your cave. If you're still using a CRT. Shame on you guys, that's horrible. All right, let's look at the, uh, the power plugs right here. We need two six pin PCI Express connectors, and they've also included this in the box. Take a look at this. We have uh, Molex on one side, six pin PCI Express on the other. Two Molex goes to the uh, six pin PCI Express and they give us two of those cables in the box. So they've pretty much uh, given us all the cables we need. We're loaded up and uh, this thing is fast. So, uh, you know, I'm still kind of going back and forth between this one and the 9800 GX2. I'm gonna pick one up uh, very soon. I'll blog about it on news.tigerdirect.com, tell you which one I went with. I'm kind of leaning toward this one because, you know, lower power requirements and the benchmarks are insane and it's also a little bit smaller. I want, I want to have some extra room in my system to put a sound card. But then again, do I want to use three of these? Oh, the decisions. Oh, God. It's your turn to make a decision, isn't it? I mean, that's why you're watching this. So you can decide what to do with your hard-earned money and it will not be ill-spent if you pick up one of these. I'll see you next time.
For more information on the EVGA GeForce 9800 GTX, go to CompUSA.com and type E145-9802 into the search box, or call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.